Hey there, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about HIV, a virus that has affected millions of people worldwide. In this video, we'll cover the basics of HIV, how it spreads, symptoms, treatment options, and prevention measures. What is HIV? HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, a virus that attacks the body's immune system. When left untreated, HIV can lead to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS. HIV attacks and destroys CD4 cells, which are crucial in the body's ability to fight off infections. Without CD4 cells, the body becomes vulnerable to infections and other health problems. History of HIV HIV, or Human Immunodeficiency Virus, was first identified in the early 1980s. However, it is believed to have been present in the human population for decades or even centuries before it was recognized. The earliest known cases of HIV date back to the late 1970s, with reports of a strange illness affecting gay men in the United States. By the early 1980s, the condition was recognized as a new and deadly disease, which came to be known as AIDS. The development of antiretroviral therapy, ART, in the mid-1990s revolutionized HIV treatment, allowing people with HIV to live longer, healthier lives. Today, HIV is still a major global health challenge, with an estimated 38 million people living with the virus worldwide. Structure of HIV The structure of HIV can be divided into two main parts, the viral envelope and the viral core. The viral envelope is a lipid membrane that surrounds the virus. It is derived from the host cell membrane and is studded with glycoproteins, GP120 and GP41. These glycoproteins are used by the virus to attach to and enter host cells. The viral core, nucleocapsid, is located inside the viral envelope and contains the genetic material of the virus. The genetic material of HIV consists of two identical strands of RNA, which are packaged together with various enzymes and proteins. One of the most important enzymes found in the viral core is reverse transcriptase, which is used by the virus to convert its RNA into DNA. How HIV transmitted? HIV is primarily transmitted through certain bodily fluids. The most common modes of transmission are Unprotected sexual contact HIV can be transmitted through vaginal, anal, or oral sex with someone who has the virus. The virus can enter the body through small abrasions in the mucous membranes, which are found in the genitals, anus, mouth, and throat. Sharing needles, syringes, or other drug HIV can be transmitted through sharing needles, syringes, or other drug injection with someone who has the virus. This is because HIV can survive in small amounts of blood and can be transmitted when blood is shared between people. Mother-to-child transmission HIV can be transmitted from an HIV-positive mother to her baby during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. Blood transfusions or organ transplants while rare, HIV can be transmitted through blood transfusions or organ transplants from an HIV-positive donor. It's important to note that HIV is not spread through casual contact, such as hugging, shaking hands, or sharing food or drinks. The virus is also not spread through air, water, or insect bites. Pathogenicity of HIV The pathogenicity of HIV is the ability of the virus to cause disease. HIV is a highly pathogenic virus that targets and destroys certain cells in the immune system, specifically CD4 plus T cells. Once HIV enters the body, it infects and replicates within CD4 plus T cells, leading to their destruction. As the virus replicates and destroys CD4 plus T cells, the immune system becomes weaker and less able to fight off infections and diseases. This can eventually lead to the development of AIDS, which is a life-threatening condition characterized by severe immune deficiency and increased susceptibility to infections and certain types of cancer. This HIV virus can also cause chronic inflammation which can damage various organs and tissues throughout the body, leading to a range of health problems, including cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, and neurological disorders. What are the symptoms of HIV? The initial symptoms of HIV can be similar to those of the flu and may include fever, fatigue, headache, muscle aches and joint pain, rash, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes. These symptoms usually last for a few weeks and then resolve on their own. After the initial symptoms, HIV can enter a latent phase, where the virus is present in the body but does not cause any symptoms. During this phase, the virus continues to replicate and destroy CD4 plus T cells, leading to progressive immune deficiency. As the immune system becomes weaker, people with HIV may experience a range of symptoms, which include 
Persistent or recurrent fever, night sweats, chronic diarrhea, unexplained weight loss, oral thrush or other fungal infections, shingles, skin rashes or lesion, persistent cough or shortness of breath, recurrent infections, such as pneumonia or tuberculosis. In some cases, HIV can progress to AIDS, which is characterized by severe immune deficiency and increased susceptibility to opportunistic infections and certain types of cancer. The only way to know for sure if you have HIV is to get tested. Early diagnosis and treatment of HIV can significantly improve the long-term health outcomes. How to Diagnose HIV HIV can be diagnosed through several different tests, which include HIV antibody test. This test detects antibodies in blood produced by the body in response to HIV infection. Antibodies can take several weeks to develop after infection, so this test may not be accurate during the early stages of infection. HIV antigen test. This test detects the presence of an antigen in blood or oral fluid during the early stages of infection. This test is more accurate during the early stages of infection than the antibody test. Combination test. This test detects both antibodies and antigens in blood or fluid samples and diagnoses HIV infection earlier than the antibody test alone. Rapid test. This test is similar to the antibody test but can provide results in as little as 20 minutes. The test can be performed on a blood sample or a sample of oral fluid. Home test. This test allows people to test themselves for HIV in the privacy of their own home. The collected sample is then sent to a laboratory for testing. It's recommended that everyone between the ages of 13 and 64 get tested for HIV at least once, and those at higher risk for HIV should be tested more frequently. What is treatment for HIV? HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, is a chronic viral infection that currently has no cure. However, there are several medications available that can effectively control the virus and prevent progression to AIDS, allowing people with HIV to live long and healthy lives. The primary treatment for HIV is antiretroviral therapy, ART, which involves taking a combination of medications that target different stages of the viral life cycle. ART works by reducing the amount of virus in the blood, slowing the progression of HIV, and improving immune function. There are several classes of antiretroviral medications, including, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NRTIs, non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NNRTIs, protease inhibitors, PIs, integrase strand transfer inhibitors, INSTIs, entry inhibitors. In addition to ART, people with HIV may also receive treatment for opportunistic infections and other conditions associated with immune deficiency. This can include antibiotics, antifungal medications, and vaccines to prevent infections such as pneumonia and influenza. While there is currently no cure for HIV, effective treatment with ART can significantly improve long-term health outcomes for people with HIV and reduce the risk of transmission to others. How to prevent HIV? HIV is primarily transmitted through the exchange of bodily fluids, such as blood, semen, vaginal secretions, and breast milk. Fortunately, there are several ways to prevent HIV transmission. Practice safe sex. Use condoms or other barrier methods during sexual activity to reduce the risk of transmission. It's also important to have open and honest conversations with sexual partners about HIV status and sexual history. Use clean needles. Avoid sharing needles or other injection equipment with others, and use sterile needles and syringes for all injection drug use. Get tested. Get tested for HIV and other sexually transmitted infections regularly, and encourage sexual partners to do the same. Consider pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP. PrEP is a medication taken daily by people at high risk for HIV to reduce their risk of infection. Treat other STIs. Sexually transmitted infections such as syphilis and gonorrhea can increase the risk of HIV transmission. Treating these infections promptly can reduce the risk of HIV transmission. Use HIV treatment. People with HIV who are on antiretroviral therapy, ART, can significantly reduce the amount of virus in their blood, reducing the risk of transmission to others. Prevent vertical transmission. Pregnant women with HIV can take antiretroviral medications to reduce the risk of transmitting the virus to their baby during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. Conclusion. In conclusion, HIV is a serious virus that attacks the immune system. With proper treatment, people with HIV can live long and healthy lives. Prevention is key, so it's important to practice safe sex and avoid sharing needles or drug. However, with continued efforts to increase awareness, 
improve access to treatment, and prevent new infections, there is hope that we can one day achieve an AIDS-free world. Thanks for watching, and we hope you found this video informative.